Hello viewers, my name is Mr. Devanjo, and I want to welcome you to today's uh, teaching on uh, parallel geometry. In the last video, we talked, solved some problems on parallel geometry, and uh, we used the parallel geometry, the theorem we have learned so far, how we can identify parallel lines, how we can identify line or transversal, how we can identify uh, alternate angles, corresponding angles, and the opposite interior angles, we, and how we could use them to solve problems. So that means if you have not watched those videos, please go back and watch those videos so that you can understand very well how you can apply parallel lines to solve problems. Having uh, understood that, then these are the two questions for you. This question on the screen right now, and the second question, this one, I, the question I want you to attempt, if truly you have understood very well those concepts in those two uh, videos we have made so far, yeah, you should be able to solve this question. There are past questions, well past questions they have attempted in the past. So you too should be able to do them. My only source will give you a, a hint on how to go about it. If you look at the video we did, last video we did, we have a question like this one, like this, having this line, something like this, and this line, and a parallel line this way. So now I told you what to do on how to solve that question. In this case now, if you look at this parallel line and this parallel line, but you can see that there is no line of transversal yet in this question. In this question, there's no line of transversal yet. So what do you do? You can create another parallel line here, another parallel line to bisect this angle r into two equal halves. Then once you get that parallel line, that means this line become a line of transversal. Then you should know what to do from there. Then also, you can also introduce another parallel line here as well. Then that means that parallel line will bisect this angle into two equal half as well. Then that means this line, this line SR and line is ST becomes a line of transversal as well. So from there, you should be able to apply alternate angle, corresponding angle, and opposite, opposite uh, interior angle to solve the questions. Since you now have a uh, line of transversal after introduction of these parallel lines and this parallel line. Because I say you should find value of R, which is this angle that is here. So with that logic, this little logic given to you, you should be able to solve that question. Then the second question here as well, you have in this parallel line, and this is another parallel line. But if you look at very well, because I say we should find angle GHB, which is this angle, small angle that is here, then you can see that there's no line of transversal yet in this question as well. Because look at this line AB, it's not straight, it is, it's bent here. So it's not straight. So if it is, admittedly it is straight like this now, then it becomes a line of transversal. So what do you do? You can try to complete this straight line. To complete it, this straight line AB, complete it, so that it will touch this parallel line, then it becomes a line of transversal. Then from there, you can find the mini angle that is here. Then the angle that is formed here, when this line touches this line here, there's an angle formed there. That angle has a relationship with this angle 3x. I won't tell you, but you should be able to know that. Then this angle here is 7x. Then you'll be able to find this remaining angle here using angle in a straight line. Then sum of angle in a triangle will help you solve that angle. So that's the clear I'm giving you. Then if you understand that, then try to solve those questions. Those questions then submit your answer in the comment section of this video. And uh, if you have not subscribed to this video, please subscribe to, subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. But if you have subscribed, don't bother to pr press the subscribe button. Then like, comment on the video and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.